Welcome to a division problem involving mixed numbers. Here we have three and one half divided by two and one third. So our goal here is to determine how many two and one thirds there are in three and a half. To do this, we'll first find the quotient using an alternative method where if we have the fractions with a common denominator, we can find the quotient by determining the quotient of the numerators. Notice here if we have a over b divided by c over b, this is equal to a over c or a divided by c. The reason this works is because if we have a common denominator, all the pieces are the same size and therefore we have a pieces divided by c pieces, which would just be a divided by c. And we'll also find the quotient using the traditional method where instead of dividing, we multiply by the reciprocal. But the first thing we need to recognize is that we have to write the mixed numbers as improper fractions. So let's start there. For three and one half, the denominator is going to stay two, and then for the numerator we would have two times three plus one, which is seven. So three and a half is equivalent to seven halves, and then divided by the second fraction, the denominator stays three, and for the numerator we would have three times two plus one, which is also seven. So now for the alternative method, we want to start by obtaining a common denominator, which should be the least common multiple of two and three. And since six is the least common multiple of two and three, we want both denominators to be six. So for seven halves, we'll multiply by three over three to obtain a denominator of six. And for seven thirds, we'll multiply by two over two to obtain a common denominator of six. So now we have 21 six divided by 14 six. So we want to determine how many 14 six there are in 21 six, and because our denominator is the same, the quotient is just the quotient of the numerators. We would have 21 divided by 14. Well, 21 divided by 14 in fraction form is 21 over 14, but 14 and 21 do share a common factor of seven, so this does simplify. Twenty-one fourteenths 14 is equivalent to three halves, which is a simplified fraction, but since this is an improper fraction, we could also express this as a mixed number. Three divided by two would be one, two, and three. One times two is two, we subtract, remainder of one. Three halves is equivalent to one and one half, which means there is one and one half, 14, six, and 21, six, or going back to the original problem, there is one and a half, two and one thirds, and three and a half. So before we use our traditional method to find this quotient, let's take a look at a model that'll help explain what's actually happening here. Again, we just saw that three and one half divided by two and one third is equivalent to 21 six divided by 14 six. Here the green shaded region represents three and a half, or divided into six, this would be 21 six, and our goal here is to determine how many 14 six there are in 21 six. So if we count up 14 pieces, that would be one 14 six. Here's six pieces and another six pieces. This is one twelve sixths. So two more pieces would make up one fourteen six. So all of these pieces here represent one fourteen six. And notice how we have pieces left over. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces, or seven sixths, which is half of fourteen sixths. So the remaining pieces, these pieces here represent the half that we found. So there are one and one half, 14 six, and 21 six, or one and one half, two and one thirds, and three and a half. And let's also show the traditional method for finding this quotient. Starting with seven halves divided by seven thirds, this is equivalent to the multiplication problem where we have seven halves times the reciprocal of seven thirds, which would be three sevenths. So we can see the sevens would simplify to one, leaving us with a product of three halves, which of course is our quotient, which is also equal to one and one half. 
So as expected, regardless of the method that we use, the quotient is the same. So it's up for you to decide which method works best for you. I hope you found this explanation helpful.